What's going on there? This is Leo bringing you another video to you, the small business owner, to help you right stand out in the online world, uh, help and help you reach more customers by obviously increasing your online exposure, and obviously help your bottom sales or your bottom line right increase your sales. So today we're gonna be talking about how to break into digital advertising without breaking the bank. So you as a small business owner. Uh, you try and if, you, if you're trying to uh, find new way to attract customers, right? And you'll be looking at digital advertising, but then at the same time, you don't want to, right? You don't have a an unlimited amount of um, funds. Then perhaps uh, this article can help you. Let's go ahead and review it. This is an article that I found uh, in Manta.com. Shout out to them. They always doing great, uh, great stuff, great information. Um, Shout out to, or this is, we're gonna give credits to Kitty French, right? And that this article was written on June 28, 2017. So let's go ahead and break this down and hopefully try try to make sense of it and see how it can help us, our business, how it can apply. I can apply some of this to businesses that I work with and, uh, even, uh, and of course, bring you some information and hopefully put it in a way that you can comprehend it, right? So. This says over here, want to get the most bang for your buck when it comes to digital marketing? Start with these simple and affordable strategies for small businesses. So let's go ahead and review those. By the way, before we get started, uh, for those of you that don't know me, you're probably asking yourself, who's this guy that come up in my news feed or uh, my YouTube videos that I was watching or YouTube videos that I was watching? Uh, my name is Leo. I run a small, a, um, I run a um, digital marketing, of a digital marketing agency for small businesses and I'm located in Solano County uh, that's in the state of California right um, between San Francisco Oakland Sacramento just to give you an idea well, whereabouts depending where you're watching this so if you you can visit my website digitaltrack.co and then you can definitely see my information this is myself so you can text me or call me if your questions my email and at the bottom, you can scroll down and look at my social media, right? If you're looking to follow me on social media as well, you can do that. Welcome to do that. All right. It says internet advertising spending reached a record of 60 billion in 2016. Wow. I wonder what advertising spending was in 2019. Let's Google it. Advertising spending a 60 billion, man. In 2016, in 2018. Let's see if they have that stat there. Digital China channel will overtake traditional mediums by 2021. Total media ad spending worldwide will rise 7.4% to 628.63 billion in 2018. Wow, that's what's that? It's about double or, or grew a hundred times from 60 billion in 2016. Wow, that's a lot of growth, definitely. Um, just Google. Net revenue half of uh, what it was, uh, the half of what it was, um, the ad spending on 2016. Wow. So yeah, obviously there's obviously if that would not work, right? My businesses would not be putting money into it. It would be going down as opposed to going up. That was according to Interactive Advertising Bureau, right? The, these stats that we saw over here that uh, 2016 it was a record spending uh, spending of 60 billion. That's a lot of hard earned money, definitely for sure. Going towards online marketing, reaching your customers can be costly, but luckily for small business owners, affordable options are within your reach. So probably you're saying yourself, right? This is an article from 2016, about mid 2017. Sorry, this is an article from, about me from 2017. So let's see what what's in the article that we can still use here. Um, how can you get the most bang for your buck when it comes to digital marketing? For starters, you can master these five basic techniques that will allow you to effectively manage your online strategy for little to no overhead. Number one is conduct a digital audit. I never done a digital audit, but definitely show if, if you come to the article on manta.com, um, Hootsuite, they, they give you a, the link to a template that Hootsuite put together um, this is what the template is going to look like. I was reviewing it earlier today. It looks like uh, step one, right? You will you will create a spreadsheet with all the information that is showing you over here just to keep track of what is it the social media that you have. 
social media channels you have. Step number two says that they recommend you to Google your social media channels and um, make a note of what you had. Apologies, my battery is running low, so I'm gonna look find a way to plug in my computer before it dies. Before the computer dies and it's dark now. Oops. Trying to open my room. I gotta look that in my room. All right. All right. So let's see. So let's continue here with the video. My wife is watching the novelas and she's probably gonna be mad at me talking here. All right. Apologies about the mess. If you're seeing a mess in the back, apologies about the apologies about the noise in the background. If you hear noise. Let's go ahead and do what we can here because my battery is dying. So there was step two, step three. You can go and review, see what step you want to do if you want to put something like this together. Uh, to be honest, I've never done one, so I don't want to comment about it. Just this is something that is there as an option. Uh, step number two, observe your social media interactions, right? Pay attention to the way in which followers on your different social medias engage with you. Right, so if, if you're not monitoring, if you don't have nobody monitoring that, how are you gonna know how what your customers are saying, what do they want, what do they like about what you're posting? Right, um, this stuff gives you uh, analytics that will let you know, well, you know how your customers are interacting, what do they like the most. Uh, if they're commenting, asking questions, they want to have somebody that can answer back to them. <clears throat> you know, it's the same way you should treat it the same way as in your your business, right? Your uh, brick and mortar location. You, 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 common sense is that customers that come in, inquire about something, you're gonna uh, answer back to them, obviously, or otherwise you're gonna, customers are gonna feel you ignore them and they, uh, they're gonna come in back ev and they're not gonna come back ever again and they're not gonna recommend you for sure. So interact, right? Um, social media like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, they also allow customers to send you private messages if you have that enabled so definitely pay attention to the inbox as well and answer you know questions as much as possible or have somebody monitor if you hate uh, monitoring your social media you don't understand it have somebody else do it for you at least um let's see step number three is measure your results right are you having an impact that you want through your website and social media platforms right are they really worth it to be on that platform for you is it Costing more time and money than what you want to. Um, well, the Instagram do provide some analytics, like I said, right? Uh, you cannot see it here, but you can see it on this mobile version. Uh, on Facebook, uh, you you go to Insight on the top menu, and that will show you how your has your business, um, uh, how uh, how's your 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 page. Right, your Facebook page analytics doing right? Is it, are you getting more likes? Are you getting more page views? Are you getting more actions on pages? Are you reaching more with your posts? Are you having more recommendations, more video views, more post engagement, etc.? And then if you go to reach and likes, you kind of see right what is it that you're doing. Um, likes, right? I'm getting how many likes are we getting in the past month or so? Followers, right? I've been have we been gaining followers or dropping followers? Um, page views, right? Are we, uh, are we, um, uh, how's your page views doing? Page previews, right? Actions on pages, how are we doing on those? If you measure any of those, right? If that's important to you, uh, posts, right? How what posts are doing good and and posts that are doing good. Do we want to take advantage of those and further squeeze them by making them advertising, right? And further uh, increase interaction with your clients based on what they like, right? So we can take note of that, measure results. Um, a lot of those, uh, this platform provides free analytics, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, right? Instagram as well. Uh, manage free listings. This is a no-brainer. Take advantage of free listing because it's like having a, a free billboard for your business, right? Here's a tip. So obviously, it's easy to miss. Stretch your ad budget by taking advantage of online freebies. Take the time to claim and update the free business profiles that are already online on sites like Google, Bing, Yahoo.com, etc.
etc. Right. So for example, the continue here with example of El Caracol. You should go try if you're in the Solano County area or uh, Solano or counties around Solano County. Uh, they have great pupusas, it's great menu on the weekend. And so, um, right, one of the things that we done, we do our, with a client is take the time to uh, claim the free listings, right? It's free advertising, free billboard, free space to announce, to add your piece, to advertise your business, why not, right? So, for example, uh, this is what you want, right? When somebody's Googling your name, you want to make sure that you are listed everywhere when you somebody's looking look Google in the business the, the name of a business you don't want your um, your competition to come up here you don't want um, other things that come up here that may confuse customers no you want your you want your business to show up all the way uh, all everywhere on page one and even page two right and and obviously um, ha have the same information everywhere as much as possible, at least the basic ones, the name of the business, address, phone number, right? And ways to contact you. Um, you again, this is important, right? You control this. Now, obviously, um, you're going to have to claim sites, listings according to your industry. For restaurants, obviously, it makes sense to do, do like DoorDash, for example, but for, I don't know, for a plumber, I don't, <laughs> uh, there's no, DoorDash doesn't offer services for plumbers, so obviously that will not work for you. Um, so yeah, just just keep in mind right what industry you are to see what uh, li online listings will make sense for your business to be listed online. And then number five, allocate wisely, right? Have you ma have you maximized the no cost marketing available through your DIY social media listings and website content, but still aren't seeing results in your sales? In your sales, then it's time to consider purchase in digital ad space, right? It's time to see if digital advertising will work for you. It says over here that according to CNBC, social media ad spending grew 65% in the last year alone. This is where small businesses like yours are putting their dollar ad dollars and reaping returns. Review the options for pay promotions on the social media platforms your business use. Online search advertising remained the most popular digital marketing format, while mobile advertising revenue is outpacing digital display as ad sales. Consider these trends when you're shopping for the best online paid advertising for the type of business you have, for the industry you have, and you may want to keep an eye on what new, new trends are going out there, right, etc. So I hope this information was helpful. Um, definitely um, let us know. Perhaps you may want to share one. I have a question for you now. So. Share with us, right, what um, what strategies you use in, with your advertising to promote your business that are very cost effective. So let us know. Share with the community. If you like what you see, if you like to continue to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to the channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to hit that bell if you like to get notified um, when new videos comes up. If you like me to send you newsletters whenever new uh courses, workshops, or video edition comes up, uh, you can let me know. Send me an email over here, right? Info at digitaltrack.co, or you can just put your information here. Um, uh, you know, name, name of the company, email, phone number. But also, I'm going to give you a free report that um, is going to help you see what how you how how customers are seeing your business online, right? Well, are you having issues with your business not um, coming up the way you want it? Or customers complaining that it's hard to find your business or complaining that uh, something is wrong, right? Your the business name, the, your, the phone number, the address. Is that was causing issues with your customers um, and causing customers, bad customer experience, right? Um, yeah, submit your information. You get my free, my free newsletters. You get my free report. And also, um, if you want, we can get on the phone. I can review the report with you and I can also provide recommendations on how to fix some of those issues that I just mentioned. If you want to follow me on social media, please do so. You you come to the my website, digitaltrack.co, you can come to the bottom and see the different social media channels where you can find me. All right, hope this video helped you. Um, you have a great one. Bye.